Wa Kenya milioni nne na laki tisa wenye umri wa kati ya miaka kumi na mitano na sitini na mitano wanatumia vibaya angalau aina moja ya dawa au mihadarati. Farid hakuwa na mwongozo wa alichokitarajia au jinsi ambavyo angeudhibiti umaarufu. Miaka michache baadaye maisha yake yalianza kuporomoka. I was a functional addict for many years for the first 10 10 12 10 15 15 maybe 15 years of my career I could drink every day and use drugs every day um and yet still manage to function um but towards you know 2015 2016 it really got out of control for me and I was no longer able to commit to work appointments or commit to work so I quit radio because obviously waking up in the morning was too difficult um so I chose my addiction over my career at that point and I think that's the crux of the problem right there you know Uraibu ulitishia kuimaliza taaluma yake lakini kadri muda ulivyopita guji huyu wa radio aligundua sio taaluma yake tu ambayo angepoteza You know many people don't really believe that that the effects of you know an addicts using cloud your judgment cloud your happiness uh numbs you from emotional pain good and bad clearly as an addict i wanted to quit but not being able to quit made me kind of ha- hate and loathe myself because i'm like hold on i'm a strong person how come i can't quit i don't know at what point exactly that um alcoholism uh became an offset in my life it became really tough i would drink to ko yeah you you wake up with no recollection whatsoever yeah you've not gone to your home for 3 days you've blacked out somewhere and when you drink you want to you want to continue drinking a lot of my money big chunk of it would go to to you know alcohol and uh, entertainment to a point where um I it really spiraled out of control because you know I'm that guy you walk into a, a, a club and um, everyone wants to sit around you everyone wants to hang out with you everyone wants to take a selfie with you and that comes with any age you know come at a key to you know and that really that 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 got to me you know urahisi wa kupata mihadarati na vileo hasa kwa watu mashuhuri na wenye pesa huchangia pakubwa uraibu wao. Je, kuna uhusiano wote baina ya umaarufu na uraibu? Myself and even I think other professionals would agree that there could be some correlation because I think both of them act on like the reward system of the brain. That for example, if you've done something good or like you've you've done a presentation in class and people you know commended you for how good it was, you've gotten the accolades, you feel good, right? The same happens when you take the drug. Because it acts on the reward system of the brain, we could say that there's a correlation in that the more um accolades you receive because of now the things that you do, which is common with fame, then the more you you want that Sawia na OJ watu wengine wengi mashuhuri nchini Kenya wamegonga vichwa vya habari kutokana na vitendo vilivyoonekana kuwashushia hadhi machoni pa jamii tokea kulewa kupindukia hadi kushindwa kujidhibiti au kujizuia hadharani James Wathigomburu anajua fika jinsi ilivyo vigumu kudumisha mwenendo mwema maishani Before I went away I had reached my 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 unajua like stardom unajua stardom then spotlight is on you and everything and that time you are not mature enough to deal with it so i was i was messing up and depending on substance abuse like alcohol you can't regulate i had achieved a lot but personally i was messed up you know you can you can like have some achievements but as a person career wise you win but as a person you fail uraibu wa jimwat uliendelea mpaka ukapindukia huku hayo yakiendelea kulitokea tukio la kugutusha maisha ni mwake lilomzindua na kumlazimu atafute usaidizi um, it was a near death accident Yeah, I survived a bad car crash. That I, I didn't even willingly 
want to change. It was automatic I had to change, because already I woke up and found myself in a hospital. You know, the last thing I remember we were driving to go for a show, but my friend was actually driving the good thing. But me, I was very high. So it was a bit, the details were sketchy and everything, but that actually was a wake up for, call for me.